Hello and welcome to Downtime Fun. Today I am going to solve a puzzle which won the first prize award in the International Puzzle Party 22 years ago. This is the Arrow Case by Eddie Nagata. The setup is quite simple. It is a 2D packing puzzle with four arrow shaped pieces and the goal is to fit all the arrows into the trays. The original version has a tray with two sides and each side has a different shape posing a different challenge. I've tried to look for a wooden copy but they are all sold out and I can't find it anywhere so I have to make a 3D model and print one. During my research I realized that Nagata-san has placed the dimension of the puzzle on his website which makes the modeling much easier. I will leave a link in the description below so you can print one for yourself on paper. It works just as well. This should not be a very challenging puzzle and my strategy is to do some trial and error. Also try to understand the geometry of the arrows so to see if there are any patterns to help me solving it. Let's start on the easier side, the square shaped one. I'm not sure if it's easier or not but it looks more regular. So let's place the arrows in. We can start with placing the arrows like this pointing towards the sides. Two arrows will fit perfectly side by side like this. The third arrow can go in like this, but then there will be no space for the fourth arrow. We can also try to point the arrows this way around. So the arrowhead is touching the side, but still only three arrows can be placed inside and no space for the fourth. And that means that the arrows shouldn't be pointing towards the side. And the other option will be to point towards the corners. With this arrangement, it felt like there, are, there is more space for the fourth arrow, but it's just not fitting properly. This is much closer and with a few more adjustments, we will reach the solution. Like this, we can place the fourth arrow into this place and we have solved the side with the square tray. Very cool. This was not a particularly difficult challenge and it took me around 5 minutes to find the answer. How long did it take you to solve it? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's move on to the more difficult side, I think. The interesting thing is that this side of the tray seems to have a larger area than the square one. Yet there are two triangular blockers on the side. When starting to place the arrows into the tray, the first three pieces are pretty easy, but the fourth one is just not going to fit. Then I tried the same arrangement as with the square tray to see if I can minimize the empty spaces between the arrows, but still no luck. After a while, I spotted that given the tray is somewhat symmetrical in a rotational sense, and the arrows are also symmetrical, maybe there is a pattern for arranging them. So I tried this arrangement with the pink arrow pointing to the bottom left and the blue arrow placing here pointing to the right. Then the gold arrow basically mirror imaging the pink arrow like this pointing to the top right placing here and the yellow arrow actually fits perfectly like so. And the puzzle is solved. Even with the seemingly more space, it is similarly challenging to the square tray. I had a blast trying to make a 3D model of this puzzle, just as much fun as solving it. Certainly this will be going into my puzzle collection. Did you print out a copy and try it out yourself? How did you find the puzzle? Let me know in the comments below. And this is the award winning arrow case from 22 years ago. Such a classic. That's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I wish you a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.